Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at Hogwarts Legacy performance at 1080p with an RX 5700 XT. So this video is going to be relevant for those of you that are on an older graphics card so you don't necessarily have access to things like RT um, and the newer technologies from either AMD or Nvidia. However, with these older cards, you do have uh, the ability to use FSR2 and XESS and that applies to older GeForce cards too, like the GTX 1080. Um, so just to kind of show, the reason why I chose to, to look at the 5700 XT is because this is one of the graphics cards that is on the Hogwarts Legacy system recommendations for 1080p 60fps. So just to get into the settings here, we are running the game at 1080p resolution uh, with TAA set to high. Uh, V-Sync off these sort of settings here in terms of that. You can see the GPU is an AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. And then for the graphics options, everything is set to Ultra. This graphics card does not support ray tracing in any form for this game. So all of these settings are going to be disabled. So that does make testing this a little bit quicker and easier because we don't have to go and mess with the RT settings. So this is going to be at native res. And then we're going to look at uh, what happens when you try the upscaling solutions. So with everything set to Ultra, just outside Hogsmeade, because this is the hardest place in the game, it's most taxing on the system. For those wondering, this test system is equipped with a Ryzen 7 7700X, you can see it in the upper right there, as well as 64 gigabytes of system memory. So we are not limited by the system RAM in any way. And you can see as we run through Hogsmeade with everything on Ultra, we are able to maintain 60 FPS average. I like to go inside here just to kind of show what the performance is like if you go inside a building, just to kind of show how the FPS, the game is easier to render and your average FPS will be higher when you're indoors. This applies to places like um, Hogwarts, the castle itself. So if we then go outside, you can see The performance is kind of like this. So overall, uh, I would say the developer's recommendation for this graphics card is accurate in terms of it being able to hit close to 60 FPS. Now, if we go ahead and turn on, let's go ahead and turn on FSR2 and see what happens. So we do have access to that here. So we go enable that. Now what that is doing, so for for a 1080p native resolution, the AMD FSR quality mode is going to effectively render the game internally at 720p and then upscale it. So let's see what the performance looks like now. So this is FSR quality. And you can see we are getting significantly better averages going through Hogsmeade. Um, let's go outside into the field and see what the performance looks like outside. So out here it's less CPU heavy but it's more GPU heavy because the draw distance is on Ultra. Um, and it's so it looks like it's able to stay above 60 at all times. Although I just saw it dip, but I think that's because of the castle rendering in the background. But overall, it looks like if you have one of these graphics cards like a 5700 XT and you have a 1080p monitor paired with it, uh, it seems like it's a good choice. You can use FSR or you can run it at native and it's fine. Uh, one thing I do want to try, I want to try Intel XESS on here. See what that looks like. So that gives us, the cool thing about Intel XESS is it does have an, another intermediary resolution, which is ultra quality. So we'll look at that one in a little bit, but let's take a look at how XESS looks on the 5700 XT. So it, it looks very similar overall in terms of the image quality. However, I don't really know if it actually seems to be... 
working properly. It, well, I think it is working properly because things do look like they are lower res. But we're not seeing the same sort of FPS. So let's try dropping this. Let's try dropping this back to FSR2. Yeah, so the FSR2 does result in better performance than XESS on this graphics card. So this graphics card doesn't seem like it benefits much from XESS. So let's try one more thing. I want to see what happens if we set it to XESS and we do ultra quality. So ultra quality will render at another intermediary frame or resolution 1477 by 831p. That's effectively 77% of the native 1080p resolution. So yeah, this doesn't seem like it's worth using. Either it's not really doing anything or it just doesn't really work properly with this older RDNA 1 graphics card. So I guess the options are going to be none or FSR. You can actually also try FSR 1.0 which has an ultra quality, a quality, a balance. You can see what those internal resolutions look like. But let's try the ultra quality FSR 1.0, see how that looks. Surprisingly, that doesn't look too bad. But I wouldn't really recommend this one. I would, I would recommend FSR 2. Yeah, the... Things in the distance seem to look, look more blurry <clears throat> because they are at a lower resolution. So yeah, I would recommend FSR2 if you want to get FPS close to 90. Otherwise, you can run this natively and it's fine. If we try NVIDIA's NIS Ultra Quality, which is looks like that's higher than 720p. I think quality is going to be 720p, right around 720p. Let's try the Ultra Quality, see if this actually works. Okay, so the NVIDIA one works, but but it looks very blurry in the background. Background looks noticeably blurry. So yeah, see that Hogsmeade sign, how it gets blurry? Let's change it back to FSR2. Yeah, see how the Hogsmeade sign to the entrance of the town, it's a lot more sharper with FSR2. So I would recommend FSR2 if you're someone who wants FPS higher than, significantly higher than 60 FPS at 1080p. And then for those who want native resolution, it looks like you're able to get that with this title. So that's really good. Um, hopefully you guys found this video useful. For those of you that are on an older graphics card, the 5700 XT is very similar to a GTX 1080 Ti in terms of the performance today. So for those of you who are on a GTX 1080 Ti, you can expect very similar performance um, in this title. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. And once again, thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.